Well, hello there. Today is December 21st, 2017, and we're on the precipice of Christmas. And on all the radio channels, we often hear the song Last Christmas by Wham. And to be quite honest, I find the song itself catchy. But there's really nothing Christmassy about Last Christmas. In fact, the message of Last Christmas is an anti-Christmas message, and uh, I will demonstrate that in a few minutes as we go through the lyrics of the song. So it says, Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. Now this is very um, uh, interesting because it says, I gave you my heart, the singer of the song. Um, But in fact, at Christmas, Jesus gives us his heart, right? He's born... And he gives us his love and his heart. And the very next day, he doesn't give it away. It's it's ours forever, as long as we accept it. Uh, then the song continues, This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. So the singer is basically saying, well, you're not special. right? I'm going to give it to someone special. But in fact, Jesus at Christmas is telling us, we are so special that he's taking on our nature to basically um, show us how to do it and to redeem us. Uh, So the first verse of Last Christmas is uh, clearly missing the boat. Then it says, um, repeats this, you know, I'll give it to someone special. So basically putting down the person and also showing that I'll give my heart to this person and, you know, only because they're special. And that's not what Jesus is saying. He's like, I'm going to give my heart to all of humanity because humanity is special and every member of it is special. And you, the person listening to this, is special. Now, um, in the next uh, verse, Once bitten, twice shy, I keep my distance, but you still catch my eye. The singer is saying, you know, I'm keeping my distance. But we know Jesus is not distant from us at all. He's there for us whenever we need him. Um, Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Well, it's been a year. It doesn't surprise me. And then like an ironic Merry Christmas. Well, in fact, that's the singer of this song um, being kind of rude, um, kind of uh, being sarcastic. And the truth is that Jesus is always looking at us. Uh, we're always in his eye, and he always recognizes us, even when no one else does, even when we're completely abandoned. Uh, Jesus is there for us. And usually it takes a crisis for us to know that, but it's true. And um, sooner or later we, we, come, we come upon that truth. But uh, now I know what a fool I've been. So he says... Uh, I wrapped up a present and sent it with a note saying, I love you, I meant it. Now I know what a fool I've been, right? Um, But if you kissed me now, I know you'd fool me again. And so basically what the singer is saying is is that love is based on a physical kind of thing, uh, an interaction, a kiss, uh, an action. But in truth, um, Jesus does send us a note that says I love you and he does mean it and he's not a fool for that so you see we're halfway through the lyrics of the song and everything is anti the meaning of Christmas and Jesus coming into the world and so um, in the next verse because they do the refrain again but we've talked about that in the next verse a crowded room friends with tired eyes I'm hiding from you and your soul of ice. My God, I thought you were someone to rely on. Me, I guess I was a shoulder to cry on. So basically what the singer is saying is, um, you've totally let me down. Uh, How could I be so dumb about that? Um, you, you, You have a soul of ice. And in fact, that's not what Jesus says to us at Christmas. Jesus says you have a beautiful soul, right? Our souls are beautiful. So, you know, this song, I mean, I like to hum it and I like to listen to it. But in fact, there's nothing Christmas about this song. Like, nothing. Uh, Now, if we go to the next verse. A face on a lover with a fire in his heart. A man undercover, but you tore me apart. 
Now I found a real love, you'll never fool me again. I don't know, it's like an angry, it's an angry verse. It's uh, it's not based on on forgiveness or truth. You know, in fact, if, if the singer loved the person uh, one year ago, um, they will love the person anyway, right? This is this is an angry response. So, so there's nothing very Christmassy about this song at all. And in fact, um, I would call this an anti-Christmas song. So that's my exegesis or my analysis of the song Last Christmas. Um, it actually uh, makes me sad to know that I've probably sang this song a thousand times over the years. Uh, because it it does nothing to bring us closer to Jesus. It just um, it's just there. So with that, I wish you a merry Christmas, and I wish you the realization that you know that Jesus loves you so much that He came into the world for you, and for me, and for all of us, and you are special, and you are worth loving, and that um, that's the magic of this holiday. Okay, so try to see the magic of this holiday of Christmas. Uh, despite the thousands of supposed Christmas songs out there that are really distracting us and keeping us away from the true meaning of the holiday. May God bless you and may your Christmas be truly joyful.